up guys, I'm Mariana Epperson and welcome to my travel look tutorial and in this video I'll be featuring the Gigi Hadid Jet Setter palette. This is her collaboration with Maybelline. It's basically a whole palette that's perfect for traveling so it's got everything. It's got the uh, like concealers, lip colors, eyeshadow, blush, bronzer, and a highlighter along with a mascara and a few little brushes here. So this is the first time I'm gonna be using it and I'll be creating a look with this that's perfect for on-the-go travel. What I love about this palette is that it has a big mirror. This is perfect for traveling. I mean, it, the last thing you wanna do is to be looking in a tiny compact trying to like do your eyeshadow or something. So this is perfect because you see your whole face. So here are the two concealers. We have one in light, one in medium. Then we have a lip balm in nude followed by a lip balm in pink. And then we have the four eyeshadow colors. We have the highlighter, base, crease, and the liner. They come with these two brushes. This is for the face and for the eyes and for blending. Now here's the blush. It looks very pink and the bronzer looks very dark. So I don't know how this is going to look on my skin. Hopefully it blends out better. And here's the highlighter. I don't know why it has this little smudge. I have never touched this. I have literally just opened this for the first time. Whatever. <laughs> Anyway, it comes with this mascara. It's wrapped in a pastel yellow packaging that says GH, Gigi Hadid. And I have not opened this, so we're gonna open it now. So this is not a specific Gigi Hadid mascara. It's just the Colossal Volume Express, but a mini size. Along with this collection, I also got her BB Cushion in GG44 Natural. There are only two, light and natural. The light is way too white for me. The natural is perfect. And this is exclusive only in Asia. So I'll be starting by using this for my face. Just prime my face. What I love is the packaging. It's so pretty. I love the pink. I made sure to wear pink just to match along with the packaging, of course. So here it is, it has a rose goldish pink cushion on the inside, and here is the cushion. I'm just gonna take this, press it onto my face. So this is good if you really want just a light and natural finish. There you have it, I'm feeling fresh and ready to go. Okay guys, I'm so excited to finally be using this palette. I've had it with me for a while. I'm gonna start with the light concealer up here. Okay, so I'll just take my finger and dive deep. So this might be too light for me, guys, as you can see already. But this is good if you want uh, to brighten up under the eyes, of course, so. Okay, maybe I'll mix in a little bit of the darker one. Okay, see, the darker one is a bit too orangey, but the lighter one is just too light. So I have to mix them. I guess if you have fairer skin or a little bit darker than mine, this would be perfect. Just gonna be honest, this is not the perfect concealer shade for me, but I made it work, I think. It's easy to apply, the consistency is fine. You just gotta blend it out a bit with your fingers. It's totally hopeless with a brush. I have some makeup brushes with me here too, but I'm really gonna try to stick with the brushes that Gigi has given me. Okay, let's work on the face. I'm gonna apply some of the contour powder over here. All right, so as I dipped into there, you can see that some of the powder has actually fallen onto the highlighter. I gave it a little, you know, blow and it came off, but still. Okay, come on. Okay, so this color right off the bat is not so bad. <laughs> it's a bit dark and I don't like looking too contoured. But of course, right when you get off the plane, sometimes I look really dead. So it's important to look <laughs> like I have some color in my face. Maybe it's just the brush. I don't think this brush is blending it out very well. It's very scratchy and not soft at all. My tip would be to bring your own brushes. You could probably buy travel size brushes that are like this small and bring them with you instead. But the thing is, the reason I'm buying this is so that I don't have to bring anything else. It's not a complaint, it's just a preference. So it's workable, you know? It's, it's not the best, 
But if it's an emergency and you gotta go somewhere and you're traveling, this will do it just fine. Okay, I don't care. This is so scratchy and it hurts. <laughs> But we've got the job done. I am bronzed up. Okay, with the same brush, since I'm only given one, <laughs> I'll be going in with this blush. Can you see that? It's bringing a very nice flush. I love this blush color. I'm not gonna lie, it's beautiful. It's just that this brush is so painful. <laughs> Guys, it's like scratching my face off. But. I want to show you that you can do everything with this palette. No extras necessary. Oh honey, no, this is painful. Okay, so let's give my cheeks a break because they feel like they've been scratched off and let's work on the eyes. So I'm gonna start with this pink shade as my base, the brown into my crease, and this one for my inner corner and brow bone. Okay, so this little brush is not so bad. It's workable. It's not as scratchy as the one for the blush and highlighter and contour. Does that hurt, girl? That's essentially it for this eye makeup, but like, girl, I'm sorry. I gotta go in with my fluffy brush and just blend that out. <laughs> I mean, it's fine if you just want to blend one or two colors, but once you get it going, you need a better brush. It's really the best I can do. Girls, if you don't have eyebrows, this is really not the best palette because there's nothing for the eyebrows. But because I have eyebrows, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> so I'm going in with the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. That did make a difference. I'm just going in with one coat each. No need to get two extra. I just hope this is waterproof. But hey, girl, them eyes though leveled up with the mascara. I'm saving the highlighter for last before I put on my lipstick. So I'm just gonna sweep over, tap a bit off and... Okay, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna torture myself. It's not gonna look good if I use her brush. It just won't have a nice end silky application, so I'm going in with this um, this fluffy brush from ColourPop. <sighs> that was the ugliest sound I've made reacting to a highlighter, but it's the most beautiful thing I've seen in a while. I'm sorry for hating on the brush, but... <laughs> How can you hate on this? I love a pink highlighter. It's great for fair skin. Ooh. I wanna highlight my whole face. Let's do everything. I am living. What you can do to even amplify it more, like it wasn't amplified enough, is to stick a bit of on your finger and then just tap it on the highest point so it really gets packed and condensed on those parts. I think I'm overdoing it, guys, but this is so beautiful. I can't, I just can't help myself. Oh my god. Okay, now I think I have to blend it out a lot because I just went too heavy on it. Okay, so for the lips, I'm gonna go in with this pink one because I feel like the nude is just gonna wash me out. I'll be using my finger because, girl, enough with those brushes. Okay, I will use a brush. This is difficult. I'm just using this uh, Bobbi Brown lip brush. Okay, it's not my favorite lip color in the world, but it will do. Again, this is more of a balm rather than a lipstick. You can't expect this to last the whole day. I think the difficulty with this is that if you want to reapply your lipstick, you're gonna have to bring out this whole freaking palette, but I'd have a spare lipstick on hand, maybe a mini one, or lipsticks are already mini. Who needs a mini one? Okay guys, so I wanna say that's it. That's it for this uh, makeup look using the Gigi Hadid Jet Setter palette in collaboration with Maybelline New York. Okay, so here are my final thoughts. I love the palette, yes. It's a bit difficult to work with in terms of achieving different looks, of course, because you are stuck with basically just four eyeshadows, two lip colors, and only one set of everything. But you know, when you're traveling and you're on the go and you need to have your makeup done, looking like this isn't half bad, guys. 
I believe that all the powders are okay. I think it's just the brush that's really the worst thing about the palette. Uh, I wouldn't be relying on this if I were you. It is possible to work with it, don't get me wrong. It's just I wouldn't want you to subject your face to this scratchy brush. This tinier brush on the other hand may work, but it's still not the best. I'd still bring makeup brushes with you if you really want to achieve a better look. You could probably do everything with your hands, but are we really children? The palette does tend to get a bit messy uh, coming out of the pots, of course and there's a bit of fallout when you do use a brush and it falls onto the other products. But if you blow it off, it's no big deal. If you're not too fussy about it like me, then why not? Go get the palette, it's worth it. Especially with this big mirror, it's so much easier working on makeup like this. I wouldn't say this is the best palette. It doesn't have anything for the eyebrows. I love the mascara though, plus points for that. But essentially, if you want a look that's on the go, great for travel, can bring it with you on the plane without worrying about full-size products, then go ahead, why not? I do like this, it doesn't have the best coverage, but of course, you know that when you're getting a BB cushion, it's not gonna have the best, but it does give a really nice matte and natural finish. I don't feel like I have to put powder on top, so. I'm pretty much happy with this makeup look. It's an everyday kind of a thing, nothing dramatic. You probably could go for an evening look if you worked more with the browns and the blacks in the palette for the eyeshadow. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for future videos, you can leave it in the comments down below. And if you want more of this <laughs> kind of content and awesomeness, then please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time, bye.